had to break away and get a bite to eat because I got sickly hungry. Uh, should be getting ready to start the last half of this game. I forgot what inning we was on. Was it six or seven? I think it was six. I'll wait till I start up here. Make sure I can hear myself. Test on one, two. Test on one, two. Yes. And here we go, second half of the game. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now the right fielder, Bottom of the Eddie six. Rosario. Leading up for the Braves, the right fielder. Eddie. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to Well struck, right field. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And just a single as they hustle the ball back to the infield. I'm sure he feels really good about that now one. Batting. That's a good First sound coming off the bat, man. Yeah. And as he connected out front, lifted oh. into the outfield. That's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Matt Olson up to the plate. Out to center. Sanchez gets under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. The batter, the third baseman. Austin. Here's the third baseman, Austin yeah. Riley. Bunting, and it's in the air. El Contra makes the catch. Two down. Now a throw to first, and he won't get back in time. It's a double play. We go to the top of the seventh. Now here is Miguel Rojas. Singh, you talked about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. The wind of the pitch. And ball one. That's a ball. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield. I was doing real good at first the diamond the and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And there's the strike. And he deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Duval moving to his left. Can't get their base hit. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Rojas around third. Not in time. He Dang. makes it safely for an inside the park home you run. Gotta run. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for yeah. a reason, Boog. Always mm -hmm. fun to see an inside the parker. And man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting a second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's just great hustle from start to finish. Jazz Chisholm now. Out towards right center field. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. Not in time. He's got a double. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Well, the name of the game is having fun. Jorge Soler up at the plate. And he swings Tricky. and misses, and it's nothing at one.
Chisholm stands at second with no outs. Next pitch inside. I think it's a ball. And that is ball one. Freaking ball. Man at second. Off the plate inside. Two, two and one. Nothing I try work. And a pitch. This one popped up. Dang, he's going to be. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. Now batting, the designated hitter, Garrett Cooper. Next pitch has popped up. Two on with one out. Next to hit, Abasail Garcia. Abasail Garcia. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Ozuna, ranging to his right. That one foul Correct. off. Ground ball, Olsen. Olsen. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Run scores, but a terrific play to get the out. The center fielder, number seven, Jesus Sanchez. 14 to 2. Here is Jesus Sanchez. First offering is fouled off. Man on second, two down. On the ground, and it goes just foul. With two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Strike. Good job of damage control right there. Uh, yeah, there's no way I can probably win this though. Uh, there's two of Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's Marcelo. I would like Zuda. to just get another home run. No left fielder. Oh, Lord. Give me a home run, baby. The why to kick the pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. No Solid Number swing one. from start to Second end. On time with everything. Oh, really good balance. Nice oh, extension. Me. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Met it first. Ozzie Albies next up for the Braves. That one pushed foul. Righty to the plate. And he pops up the bunt. Aguilar right there to make the grab. And there's one away. Yep. The center fielder, number 14. Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall at the plate. The play. Line drive, base hit. 
Ozuna around third. Here's the tag, and he's out. Now around third, waving him home. The tag gets it. Double play. Dang it. Yeah. Back here in Atlanta, and now it's Jesus Aguilar. The first baseman, number 99. The wind of the pitch. Jesus Aguilar. Swing and a strike. miss. That's strike one. Comes up empty on the Start swing, 0-2 oh, now. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. The pitch. That's to third. Throw, and it gets away. Well, an error like that, you look at the scoreboard and you kind of wonder if these guys are losing focus out there. And look, it, it can be tough to stay locked in when you're getting blown out. We've all been there. And I'm not saying that's definitely what happened on this play, but it's not a great look. Anderson stands in now, looks at that one inside. Ball in the air, left field. That one back, and it's out of Dang here. Dang it! He circles the bases. That's his 50th career homer, and they add to the lead. It's 16 to two. Yep. 16 to two. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got now just batting. enough of it, and I think the backspin Jacob. really helped that thing carry. Jacob Stallings down. Next pitch is popped up. Olsen makes the play. One down. Only one down. The batter, number 11, shortstop, Miguel. Boy, I made him a big, some, some Miguel big Rojas mistakes at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch, and he has to Dang get it. out of the way. A ball. That one missing Two inside. Balls. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over-aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Swing and a miss, strike. strike one. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. One down, base is empty. Popped up. And there's two down. Now batting, second baseman, Jazz Chizzo. Back to the top of the lineup, Jazz Chisholm, the next up for the Marlins. And that's in there for strike one. And the 01. No. Ball one.
Swings through that strike one two. for strike two. Next offering is outside. Ball two. Two two down. And that one pulled foul. Next pitch misses inside. Dang. The count is filled up. Left hand batter waits. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Boom. Dang you think it. You could walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats. Oh, that's a good no question. Um, I think Jorge. that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. This one in the air center field. Duval ranging back. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. In to score from first, and the lead continues to grow. Safely into third, it's an RBI yep. triple. Picks himself up an RBI. Up Just a very ball. nice approach and the swing w right w there to use the big part yeah. of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now at the plate, Garrett Cooper. And first offering is fouled off. Okay. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Strike right, two. Strikes. Try three. And that'll do it. There we go. 17 to 2, and I'm 2. That's terrible, baby. Mid 8. Welcome back. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. This one high in the air to left center. Soler settles under this one. Drops into the glove. One away. The batter, the designated hitter, Alex. Dickerson. Now it's Alex Dickerson. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Several 0 2 counts in this one. This guy out there has just been attacking the hitters. Really good job so far. Ripped on a line. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. No They're seeing no high speeds Shortstop. day after day, Get and a nice three. job of turning that one around. One, one gone, runner at first. Now in for the Braves. Dan's beat. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. This one pretty well decided at this point. Back at Truist Park. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's going to be Abasayu Garcia. Yeah, they winning. Free back to work. And there's the strike. Strike. No ball. One strike.
Two strikes. May the Braves do better tonight than what I've done here. Ball one there. Bow. Had a ball. Strikeout. Woo. And that's the first out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just so a low far. 90s fastball. Top I'm not of the sure night. he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. And now for the Marlins, Jesus Sanchez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Okay. Ah, I hit the wrong thing. And a foul ball. Two strikes. The O2. Strike two. Oh, 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 oh. Swing and a miss. Woo! He's down on strikes. That's out number two. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And now, Jesus Aguilar. That's out to center field. Duval under this one. And that's the third out. At least let me get a home run. Come on, Lord, let me get a home and run. And now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the final. Sorry, at least go out with a three. And a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. And welcome back. Last chance for the home team. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Eddie Rosario. The right fielder, Eddie Rosario. And a pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And nice work to hold him to a single. Got it back in fast. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Slings to second. On to first, and Aguilar, it's a double play. Dang it. No Three run. One of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Foul. Foul ball. Dang it. Fans are already starting to leave. And a foul ball. Foul two. You already got two out. Just one strike away. There's a swing and a drive. And out of here. Woo! At least I got my one. At least I got my one on one. Thank you, Jesus. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. The left fielder. So they're down to their final out. Marcelo Zuna. Next up for the Braves. In the air, right field. And he's got it. Ball game. Yep. And the Marlins slug their way to a win. And there we game. have it, ladies well, and gentlemen. I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W.
Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping 17 by. 17-3. John Chomby. Talk to you soon. At least I did get my last hit that I wanted. I'm happy about that, even though I failed at the game. I'm going to call it a day for right now. I only stayed on 25 more minutes. That was a total of 70-something plus 25. So I'll see y'all later tonight, maybe. We'll see. Wrath of Supper. The Mabel. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 55 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Truett Park. 41,500. The Braves thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safe. Hey, there we go. I'll be back a little later. Whenever that is. <laughs>